So I wanted to kind of tell you what I was doing today. I have already done it, but I wanted to update you on our rabbits. So Milky Way had her, her six babies. Milky Way is the Tamuk composite, and she breeds with another Tamuk composite named Chocolate. Well, um, they've been in there, once they're in their cage for a little while um, and the babies start moving around, I want to ensure that they are as healthy as they can be. So what I try to do is I try to move them to our tractors. So we still have three older rabbits. They're about nine weeks, 10 weeks. Um, there are New Zealand and composite mix. Um, there's three of them left. And so I moved them from the big tractor to the smaller tractor. And I'll show you that in a second. So this is our smaller tractor. This is the first tractor that we've ever made. So this is kind of our prototype, but it works great. So I ended up moving our New Zealand composite mixes or crosses in here. They're, like I said, they're about nine to 10 weeks. I love watching rabbits on the ground. Um, they are just happier. They're running around, they stand up. They're like super cute on the ground. And it's just better for them than the wire. And since we only have three breeders and, uh, well, three does and two bucks for our breeders, we can do this. As you can see in our, um, in this we have wire on the ground. The reason why we have wire is because I do not want them digging holes, <laughs> tunneling through the yard. They will do that. They've done that in the past. Um, we used to have a setup where I had the water bottle and the feeder, but um, honestly, I've grown to love the bucket system or the, like the little bowl system for their food and their water. So I kind of did away with that. As you can see, all the zip ties make it work, right? Just make it work. This is our second tractor. This is so funny because this was a crate that I got from Sonic. Um, they were just throwing it away. So I was like, we could totally use that. Can I have this for free? And they're like, yeah, it's by the dumpster. Just go pick it up. So that's what we ended up doing. We ended up setting it in half for an area here and an area there. Um, usually it's all open, but for right now, since they're still small nursing babies, I closed off this side and I only have this side. So if you wanted to see this one, I just cleaned inside it. So it's not the best. I didn't finish cleaning all the way, but it works. That's one side, and now I'll show you the other side. You see we have a handle here. We're going to get wheels for this. There's wire all around it to make sure that no babies come out. Um, right now I'm just dragging it around the yard where there's patches of grass, um, but we will get wheels soon. So here it is, here's the inside. The babies are in there and they're so happy. They're running around like crazy. Um, they're enjoying the freedom, that's for sure. Mama is definitely enjoying all the space she's getting. Um, this works for us. Uh, we also have wire in this one for the grass to go through. We have their hay, we have their, their food and water, pine cones, apple sticks. They, they love it. And this is just an easier way for us. It may be a little annoying to move right now, but it's totally worth it. Um, keeping them nice and safe and happy. As you can see, this is the, where I moved the tractors from. As you can see, there's hay, there's a bunch of manure, and then there's the grass all the way around. Obviously, the, um, the grass is growing back because spring is coming, and the grass means that the tractor was not there yet. But actually, because we move the tractors in this area so often, the grass is the best on this side of the yard because all of the manure. So yeah, this is just our quick little system that we have for our tractors. We have our cage for our breeders does and bucks and each cage is three by three foot all of this was like a prototype for us my husband built this we really didn't have many plans for it if any and we had their little pictures on their feeder um, we really enjoy this system we enjoy having a spot for them to run on the grass every now and again if we see a breeder getting a little chunky we'll put her on the ground for a while to let her just run well, thank you for watching. I just wanted to show you what was going on today. We got all the hay that um, I cleaned out the tractors, like I told you. All the manure and hay went straight to our chickens. I like when they scratch it all out so they can get all the seeds. And um, once they do that, then I can use it for my garden. God bless. We'll see you next time.